Hey everybody, Christopher here with the Triangle Haunters and welcome to our first video of 2015. Um, I know it's been a while since uh, Ann and I made uh, a video, um, but uh, as many of you don't know and a few do, uh, Ann and I actually had uh, a child in 2014, very beginning of 2014. And so, you know, with raising a newborn and trying to get all your props that you want to get done done and raising a newborn and trying to get all the props set up for your display and raising a newborn trying to get more props done um, raising a newborn a lot of stuff kinda of had to take a back seat which included our uh, vlog videos and and prop videos and stuff like that so but uh, officially our son is now a year old and so hopefully we'll be able to do a few more videos and, and how-to videos and prop videos and just regular day-to-day -day vlogs. But the first video uh, that I wanted to do for 2015 is actually a video that I've wanted to do for uh, for, for uh, quite a few months now. Uh, it's kind of a, a how-to mod instructional video on something that I uh, recently found at my local Dollar Tree. Now a lot of us out there make uh, candles to go into our haunts um, you know making them out of PVC um, you know and using the hot glue or, or toilet paper tubes or, or whatever uh, but I was actually walking in the Dollar Tree quite a few months ago it was actually right around uh, Halloween of last year and I saw we found something rather interesting and these are uh, LED tapered candles that run off of two AAA batteries. Um, as you can see, I've got them in my my candelabra right here, um, and it's a nice little you know it's a nice little flickering LED effect. But it's a tapered candle. It's not one of the real big fat ones. And I know we can make them with with PVC and, and using a lot of the same uh, techniques. But this was a you know this was a dollar, and it already comes with a tapered. Uh, I mean, it already comes with a flicker LED ball but runs off of two AA batteries. And if I wanted to make it run off of a power supply, it's very easy to modify it to do that. But they also had smaller uh, taper candles, um, also for a dollar. Uh, but there was one difference between the smaller versus the, the taller tapers, and that is the LED is bright white it's not a flicker and me personally I like the flickering effect more than I like this bright white effect for for a candle so I took this apart to see basically how it works inside and realized this is very very simple to turn into a flicker LED so I uh, after doing a number of these I kind of wanted to do a how-to video on how to turn this into that and we keep it small so uh, I'm gonna go through this video sh kinda show you how it's done like I said it's extremely simple so um, let's get started <laughs> okay so in order to change out the bright white LED to a flicker LED you only need a couple of tools, or a couple of things. Um, first and foremost, you need the candle itself. Um, again, like I said, you pick these up at the Dollar Tree. You get two in a pack um, for, uh, for the candles. The next thing that you're going to need is a good pair of wire cutters. Um, these are Technotool wire cutters. Um, not just regular scissors so they're a little bit more durable than than scissors um, but um, you know a, a really good pair of wire cutters is, is really all that you need and uh, next thing you need is and for I really couldn't think of any other better term for this tool is a poking device <laughs> um, basically what I'm doing is using the end of a paintbrush and um, once we get into the further uh, steps of this modification, you'll under, you'll see why we need it. Um, but 
Oh, and this right here is just a glass cup that I'm using to to hold the parts uh, as we go through the modification so they don't roll around everywhere. Uh, last thing that you need is a 5 millimeter 3 volt flickering LED bulb. Now, I get my LEDs, uh, as a lot of haunters do, from a company called Lighthouse LEDs. Um, this right here was a bag of 50 LEDs that I picked up for, um, you know, about four or five bucks. So you're looking at, um, you know, anywhere you can, and you can get them on eBay uh, as well. They come from China, so it ta does take a little bit while, uh, a little bit longer for them to come in. Um, but you can usually pick up these LEDs for anywhere between five to seven to eight cents per, uh, per LED. Uh, but that's it. That's really all you need for this modification. Um, a couple of optional uh, tools are a hot glue gun and a pair of pliers. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more uh, as we go through the modification. But you will notice that there's one tool here that uh, that's not here. Um, most LED modifications you would use a soldering iron with some solder but you'll notice they're not here you don't need them this is a solderless modification which makes it really really simple um, but let's go ahead and get started I'm going to move the flicker LED out of the way as well as the poking tool and the wire cutters so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take off this base. This is just a a base that the candle sits in, um, you know, in case you just want to set it alone by itself. I personally have candle holders, candelabras and stuff that I really don't need this base. You might, you can save it, or like me, I just get rid of it. I don't need it. Um, the next thing you want to do is you want to take off this little screw cap here at the bottom. Uh, this little screw cap, I'll show you here real quick, is also what turns on the uh, the LED uh, candle. But you want to take this off. This is also where you put in the batteries. So you'll take that piece off. And now this is the candle that I used at the beginning of the video. So it has batteries in it. You won't need these. You won't get batteries when you buy the candles. So when you buy the candles, make sure you buy AAA batteries. Uh, the next step is this little plastic tip here uh, just pops off or pries off of it uh, and then you just put that off to the side and what this does is it exposes the LED that's inside the candle so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and you're just gonna push down on it you're gonna push it down until it gets flush to the top of the candle what you'll notice is this metal ring down here at the bottom is pushed out. So you, and this is where if you wanted to use pliers you could um, but you really shouldn't need to but um, just take your fingers and gently pull on this piece until it really starts to come out. And there you have the LED housing. Now you don't need this right now so just set that off to the side. So now you see the LED housing. Now this metal piece here just sits inside this piece of plastic. So all you need to do is just slide it off. You'll put that off to the side. You'll need it later. So now when you're looking at what's housing the LED, what's holding the LED, you'll see it's just a little piece of plastic. And on the bottom of this piece of plastic, right there you'll see that there's a piece of metal this is the positive end of the LED so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pry that piece up to make it straight and the moment you do that the LED slides right out so just take this now this is a super bright white five millimeter LED it's a perfectly good LED um, you might want to use it for later so I personally hold on to these um, 
you know, if you're if you don't think you're ever going to use these again, you know, go ahead and get rid of it. Do whatever you want to do. But I personally like to 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 hold on to them. So now all you're left with is the LED holder, basically. Very very small piece of plastic. You'll notice there's a hole in the center, and there are two holes on the side. One that's um, parallel to the center hole, one that's just offset. The center hole and the side hole that's that's parallel to it is where your positive and your negative end of your of your LED goes into. So, what you're going to do now is take your flickering LED and identify the positive and negative ends of the LED. Um, for those of you who've never worked with an LED before, there's real simple ways to uh, determine which side is positive and which side is negative. You'll notice here on this LED that one end is longer than the other. That longer end is the positive side of your LED. Now, sometimes you'll come into situations and both leads coming off the LED are the same length. So there's still a couple more ways to determine the positive and negative side. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this on the video, but there's a ring around the bottom of the LED, but you'll notice it's not a perfect ring. One end is flat. The other end is perfectly round. That flat end is the negative side of the LED. As you can see when I took my hand away, fingers away, the shorter end, negative end, also has the side that's flat. So you'll know that's your negative, that's your positive. Now, if you still can't figure out what side is negative and positive, the last way um, is to take one of the button batteries. I believe it's a CR2024. Um, it's the same kind of button battery that comes in the LED flickering LED T lights. But basically, you would just put that battery in between these two leads, push them together. If it comes on, then whatever positive side of the battery is touching the lead, that's the positive side of the LED, and same thing with the negative. Negative side of the battery touching, it's the negative side of the LED. So once you know which side is which, you'll know where it needs to go inside the LED housing. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the negative end of the LED and bend it out just slightly, not too much. You're going to then identify the hole that the negative side needs to go into, which is right here. So you'll put the negative side in just a little bit. Get it in there, and then you're going to take the positive side and then put the positive end in just like that. You're line it up, and then you're going to push it down. What's going to happen is that negative side LED, or the negative side of the LED, is going to bend itself into shape. So go ahead and push it down in there. Once it's in and, and pretty snug, what you're going to do is you're going to see the two ends sticking out here at the bottom. So what you want to do at this point, making sure that they're still in there nice and snug, is you're going to take your, now you're going to take your wire cutters, and on the negative side of the LED, you're going to trim that flush with the housing. The positive end here, oops, push it back down. The positive side, go ahead and fold that down so it, so it stays in place. But you'll notice that positive lead is is kind of long. It's not as it's longer than than the LED that was on there before. So what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to kind of trim that off just a little bit. You'll notice that in the plastic housing there's a small center post. What I like to do is just kind of trim off the positive LED so it's just a little flush with that edge just like that and so the next step you're going to want to fold up the positive side of the LED so it's straight again and you're going to want to take the LED out 
Now remembering, obviously, which side is positive, which side is negative. You're going to take, and you're just going to trim just a little bit more of the negative side of the LED off. And the reason you're going to do that is you want the negative side of the LED to kind of be hidden inside this housing. You don't want that negative side to be um, sticking out through the bottom uh, and possibly touch the uh, positive side of the battery because what you'll do is you'll end up um, shorten out the circuit and the LED won't work. So you'll fold the positive side of the LED back down again holding this LED in place and that negative side is hidden inside it's not it's not coming out at the bottom. So there you've just replaced your uh, bright white LED with a flickering LED. Now it's time to basically reassemble the candle <coughs> together. Um, now on the sides of this plastic housing you'll notice there are s some grooves inside the um, the housing. What those go match up with is their little blades that are inside the the candle housing. And so you'll know that that's where these are gonna these are gonna line up. So set that down for just a second. We're gonna go back to this piece of metal. You'll notice there's a little hook on the end of it. That end piece right there goes into the offset hole that I had mentioned to you earlier. Goes into that hole and inside the candle housing or the LED housing. Sorry just so you know how this works the negative side of the LED is exposed right here so what this does is it allows the negative negative end of the battery to touch the negative end of the LED because when everything is put back together again this screwed uh, spring inside the base of it touches the metal of this uh, piece here and the negative battery at the same time giving the connection to the LED um, so that the positive end touches here, negative end touches here, completes the circuit and the candle turns on. So uh, I had mentioned earlier you might want to use a little bit of hot glue. You could put a little dot of glue or something right there. Um, but remember this piece stays flush in the top of this housing so you don't want to use too much um, or any at all because what I'll show you here is, is how this is all gets put back together again so as you can see how I'm holding the um, the housing in this piece of metal so it stays together and then I just slide it I line up the grooves and slide it in just so that it's just sitting in there remember I said the poking device so you take the poking device and you slide this in, being very careful not to push the metal rod up before you push that plastic housing. Otherwise, it'll come out of the plastic housing and may not be sitting in there properly. But you'll push it in and really, really tight. You'll see the LED is sticking back out at the top again. And at this point, you can, if you've got your batteries, go ahead and put your batteries in, positive in first. Take the base, screw it back on. And if everything went together perfectly, the flickering LED should come on. So the last step you need to do is just put the plastic flame tip back on. Now that does take a little bit of finessing to get back in there, but once you do, you've switched out your uh, bright white LED for the flicker bulb. So as you can see, it's extremely easy and simple to uh, basically switch out the bright white LED for the flicker bulb. Uh, and in my opinion, this is a lot more convenient 
than actually building one from scratch, building one out of uh, out of PVC pipe, um, just because it's already set up to be run running off of batteries. Um, everything's already there. It's already, you know, got the look to it with some minor modifications, some distressing to it, adding some uh, hot glue to make it look like dripped wax and painting it up. Uh, it will really make this look uh, look look really nice. Um, and like I said, for the price of it, you you can't beat it. Now, earlier in the video, I made a comment of you know you can pick these LEDs up for about five or six cents a piece. Um, what I didn't realize at the time, I was actually talking about just standard LEDs. The flicker LEDs are a little bit more expensive um, because they have a resistor and electronics on the inside of the LED itself to make them flicker. Um, so, like I said, I understated the pricing just a little bit. Um, if you go to Lighthouse LEDs, you can typically pick these up for about 20 cents a piece. Um, obviously, the more you buy, the cheaper it's going to be. Um, there's also a guy on eBay that I purchased from, but, uh, but he's out of Hong Kong. And, uh, but I can pick up his, um, his LEDs for about $6 for a pack of 50, um, which is, uh, you know, roughly about 11, 12 cents a piece. So, um, <clears throat> you're looking at the candle itself, because remember, two come in a pack for a dollar. Uh, so 50 cents for the candle, and if you go to the high-end cost of the LED, you're looking at about another 20 cents. So 70 cents for just one of these LEDs, and then of course cost of the batteries, um, probably cost you about a dollar um, just for one of these with the with the flicker uh, flicker bulb, which is the same price as, as one of the larger taper ones. Um, and you know you can't beat that price. Uh, you know with the cost of a PVC pipe and the great stuff foam, you might get off a little bit cheaper, but in my opinion, this is a lot more convenient, and I, I really like the way this, this looks. And in one of our uh, ventures to thrift stores and stuff like that, we found this real neat-looking um, uh, candle holder, and as it turns out, this fits down inside there perfectly. And so with a little distressing, um, maybe adding some hot glue to the candle itself to make it look like dripped wax, um, this will turn into a really nice decorative piece uh, for, our, for our haunt. And of course, it goes along good with, with <coughs> pardon me, candelabras and, and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, when I found this and I saw this, I knew I had to pass this along to, uh, to my fellow haunters out there uh, so that they could take advantage of it. Um, I would like to forewarn any and all of my fellow hunters that live in my area of the five Dollar Trees that surround me. They don't have any more because they're all sitting down in my garage. <laughs> so if you're lucky enough to be not in this area, then you should probably find some. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, I mean, like I said, it's a very, very simple, easy build to do. Um, before I, uh, before I close out of this video, um, I wanted to send a, a shout out to one of my fellow haunters. Uh, his name is, is SK Austin. He does the, uh, the haunting grounds and he sent me this wonderful t-shirt. And, uh, if any of you have never seen any of his videos, um, I highly recommend you check him out on YouTube, um, his, uh, his channel is called, you know, is SK Austin. Um, but uh, he's got a lot of great videos on um, tombstones, on how to carve them, how to paint them, um, and, and really decorate them up so that they look really, really good. Um, tombstones on ground, or I mean, uh, tutorials on groundbreakers and stuff like that. And, of course, his, his vlogs are always very informative and, and very entertaining. So... Um, Somebody that I've I've learned a lot of the prop building techniques that I use, um, I've learned from SK. But uh, just wanted to to send him a shout out. Thank you very much for the shirt. I really like it. Um, and uh, of course, if you haven't checked out his channel, please uh, go and subscribe uh, and look at a lot of his old videos because uh, they're they're really really good. He's a very very talented uh, haunter out there. Uh, but that about does it for this video. 
Um, if you have any questions, of course, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to, to answer them. Um, otherwise, we'll see you on the next, uh, next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>